Hey everyone, Merrick here and we're back in Forsaken Isle. And I think today we're going to do a little bit of a wander around. I went deep underground on the spider biome and ran around for a couple hours and I couldn't find much in the way of resources. So I thought today we would go on a little extermination party and see if we can't clean the scourge of natives off my land. And it has become my land. I even have an in-law suite. And once you have an in-law suite, it's your land. It's in the rule book somewhere, I'm sure. So let's head out and do some killing and we're going to do some talking as well. Which I guess that's what I do in every video is some talking. Primarily what we're going to talk about is what's going to happen when we get to the point where there's not much in the way of content left. I think we're going to be reaching that point fairly soon. Um, it's not that there's not going to be content and there's not going to be things we can do. There's just going to come to a point where there's not much left for me to do in this video, and in this series I should say, until we get updates from the developer. Which is okay, I mean it's it's an early access game, it's, it's bound to happen. So we have a couple of options. Um, I can do some sort of, of self-imposed game mode where you all tell me how you want me to survive and what you want me to be limited to and I could try to survive in that manner or I could just start over and we could see what I could do just in a speedrun sort of situation or you know what our environment looks like once we get to the point of having a new map hmm I haven't made poison blow darts yet so I think I might make some poison blow darts when we get back to base um, yeah, I mean, we could just regenerate the map and start over and see what we can build from there. You know, we, ha we have options. Uh, we can try to buy time by, you know, clearing out the dungeons and just have me record a whole bunch of footage and speed it up and show you guys what happens when you actually strip mine the dungeon. Which is, of course, completely up to you. If you want to see something like that, I'll definitely do that for you. I don't see very many natives. Hmm. Well, time to knock their homes down. Well, time to run out of pickaxe quickly. Ah, yes. Temple walls. Just what I wanted. And now I can build my own temple. So, you know... I'm not really sure where we'll go with this. We may make this a series that gets put on hold. I pick up a new game in Early Access that you guys recommend and check that out while we wait for the developer to make more progress. And if we do that, that's fine too. I'll come back to this game every update and we'll play it out until the update has nothing else to offer and we'll go from there. Crap, I did not mean to make an X. Hmm. I have an X now. I guess I'll cut some trees down while we're out. So those are options, and if, if there are islands that we can get to by pushing out through the sea, I'll definitely want to do that, and I suspect that there might be some somewhere, and I may just grab a whole bunch of dirt off camera, and then on camera we may push out in various directions, see if we can't find these islands that I'm making up in my head, because it's quite possible that I have made up that there are islands off in some grand direction. But I mean, I can't hurt to look. We are getting pretty far into this playthrough and we're running out of things to do until the developer puts out bosses and things like that. Oh, I got a smiley face. I didn't notice that. Hello. We will not mess with the smiley face. So yeah, the developer is working on bosses and I guess we'll get those updates as soon as he's ready. I don't want him to rush because if you rush things in game development bad things tend to happen and I don't want bad things to happen to this game. I really enjoy playing this game and you know I want to play it through each iteration and experience the developer's vision from there which I think will be really exciting. So we have options in that regard and I keep saying so we have options and I'm not sure why. I guess it's because I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't find any more gold. I found 
two or three nodes of iron, but the gold is just, it's gone. And I could go down into the dungeon level and explore some more, which we may wind up doing in this episode. Just running around with a crap load of torches and lighting everything up, hopefully not lagging my system out completely. Lighting everything up and just seeing what's what. We are getting to the point where I have a significant portion of the crafting book unlocked as well. And once we 100% the crafting book, or as far as we can with what resources we have, that's kind of done. Ooh, like right here. That says, Merrick, you should put dirt down. And I say, Brain, I have no dirt. So maybe we've got a lot, more, a lot more left to explore, and it's starting to get dark. In just the way of exploring topside and exploring these deep dark areas in the game that we haven't gone through. And I think, I think the next stage, really, in our in our development in this world, is going to be strip mining the underworld, either off camera or on camera with. I don't know, maybe dialogue if you guys want to hear me just yammer on. Or just videos of me just speed playing it. Where I do recording and then speed it up for your pleasure. I do like these temple walls. They are cool. It's kind of cool that you can get them. I wonder if that keeps the, the natives from spawning or if they just spawn without it. I'm not really sure what the spawning rules are. I do love my cursed sword. It does crazy amounts of damage, which is always nice. So yeah, not not a whole lot left out here on this this little island. And we're back. So I guess we're going downstairs, all the way down into the dungeon. Let's see what we can see. Don't have a lot of torches. Do I have any resin? I've got some resin. And some sticks. Make a few more torches. Torches. Alright, there we go. Drop this stuff off that we picked up. Uh, we got some more bones. Got a worm. Hmm. Let's grab that and go over to this table and see what happens when we do that. Really? I would have suspected that that would make a poison blow dart. And that would make a poison arrow. Hmm. Maybe it's over here on the alchemy table. Nope, guess not. I'm not going to spend a lot of time digging into that. I mean, I, I want to go do something slightly different than sitting at the tables again for a third episode in a row. The, the last one was sort of impromptu, but it was really worthwhile because we made a lot of cool discoveries. Okay, there's the meat. Uh, we got a little bit more to drop off. Put that away feathers away, we'll put the stone things away, got some seeds, we'll just dump that in there for convenience. Yep. And tomato seeds. Alright, so we got plenty of food, some wool and some rocks, and take the wool away. Wool can go in there. Rocks can go in its rock home. Okay, down we go. Bloop. Bloop. Actually, do I have any mining stuff in here? No. Alright. So let's go. Let's go south. South, what? Southeast, maybe? Guess that would be southeast. 
this way. Let's see what we can see. Pop some torches down. Maybe we'll find a whole bunch of gold down here. Oh, well, we'll find a chest straight away. I like that. Twelve torches. A whole bunch of gold. Well, that's great. Boots of Swissness. I do believe that'll be a yes. Uh oh. Did I lose my light? Hmm. Do I lose my immunity to poison choices? No. Okay, for now we're gonna lose the immunity to poison until I get back in spider country. So we got a bunch of torches. We got nine pieces of gold. That's kinda nice. Um, I am damaging myself by being stupid. As my usual. I've actually died off camera. Just not eating. I'll just go ahead and tell you guys that now. Yeah. I am a professional. So don't try that at home. I'm not running around with any kind of pattern or, or plan. Which I think is, is kind of obvious for all of my videos. But since I don't have a ton of torches, I'm just trying to run around and find resource nodes. Or chests, which that chest was an awesome find. Man, there aren't any bad guys. Do I see any of them at all? Did, like, did it glitch out and just stop spawning bad guys? I don't know. I don't know why I'm just randomly throwing torches around. I've only got seven left. Okay. Nine gold. Nine gold is super helpful. Just wish gold wasn't so rare now. I need more resources. I need more gold. So much crafting to do. I do love these boots. Being able to move this quickly is really nice. Okay, there's some resources down there. Um, I think that is a one wall we can get through. And oh, it's a two wall, but we can get through it. So two wall into that. Fantastic. And I think there might be a train coming. I don't know. Yep, there's a train coming. Be right back. Alright, we're back. Train's gone. It was a short one. Oh, come on. Is it... It's gold that's literally inside a wall. Awesome. Give me gold. Yay! Ooh, a jurite. I have a pick for that. Now, I'm not sure if you can't get a jurite with slow end picks. I just don't want to risk it. These damn resource nodes are so rare now. You can't afford to screw up. So apparently all the gold is not on the spider level anymore. It's down here, which is just fine. I don't mind coming down here for it either. Ooh, another chest. Uh, another six gold. And another water wand. I need to show that off. That's actually pretty neat. Fifteen torches and another rope. And a chest. Do not use that to get the chest. Don't be stupid. Alright, so let's go over here. That's just a rock. Don't even want to mess with you. Deal with you later. Yeah, definitely going to have to do massive amounts of strip mining to deal with all this stuff. Because I'm sure there's a lot of resources that are just trapped in like those little one one room node squares. Which is alright, that's just fine with me. There's some more cur cursed ore over there, we'll go get that. I think there's some gold right down here. Go, 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 gold! Oh, and I found some enemies! Well, that's fantastic. It's kinda lonely out there, guys. We missed you. Did you guys miss me? Yeah? Aww. Well, here, I'll give you some sword hugs. 
this is a new curse sword um, you know it's the new fashion of the year and I hope you guys enjoy it and you hit me for one damage you know what I'm a wizard too pew 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 the water one does crap all for damage but it penetrates which is kind of funny and lots of resources over here so apparently the update just moved all the resources underground or further underground which is okay it's fine It's not like the enemies attack us anymore, so hey, whatever you want to do. Bloop, 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 bloop. Still not taking any damage, huh? Yeah, this is, as funny as it is and as great as it is to not actually take damage, it's getting kind of boring. The, the challenge of the dungeons is, is gone without enemies being smart enough to hit back. You know what? I'm lazy. Cutting that wall down. See, this just isn't really that fun. Oh, he hit me! Oh, I took 12 damage from him. Good job, you did 24 damage. You've... You've brought pride to your family that I have destroyed over and over and over again. Okay, well our our resource run is going to come to an end fairly quickly once this uh, pickaxe runs out, so I guess that's one thing I have to worry about, but not too super concerned. I can always just go up and make a cursed pickaxe next. Which cursed pickaxe will be exciting? Stop hitting them with the pickaxe. Jesus. And since, since we have a ton of cursed ore, that's exactly what I'm going to make. Look at all the cursed ore that we have. Why couldn't gold be like that? Holy crap, do you see that? We're going for that chest. Oh, this will be the first what looks like a bone chest I found. That's exciting. Yes, I know I'm taking the long way there, but I've got to explore. I needed to kill these slimes. They were talking about my mother. Nobody talks about my mother, but my mother. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's obvious I've gone quite mad. Let's go get the chest. We'll, we'll kill these guys, then go get the chest. I needed that resin. And... Oh, I cooked some spider meat. So, you know, let's see if that heals us. I don't think it does. But it gives us great hunger return, so that's nice. And we'll pop one of these bandages. Ooh, that was nice. Alright. Found some more cor cursed ore. So, of course, we'll pick that up. Boop. Ooh, we got bone ingots and torches. Okay, I was way excited about that. And then it was bone ingots and torches. Like, I was just... I was just so let down by, by what it was. I mean, the, the, the bone chest is pretty badass. But bone ingots and torches, really? Uh, we'll toss the rocks. I've got plenty of rocks. I got a new recipe. I wonder what that's for. A bone bow shaft. Ooh. Guess what we'll be doing when we get back home. Yep. I keep saying things like guess and then not telling you guys what, but yeah, we're gonna be making that. Cause that's pretty awesome. Oh, our annual or our obligatory hiccup. Let's grab some of that. Oh. 
I forgot. I'm full. Turn you into fibers. Boom. I haven't done anything with amber yet. I, I'm going to collect that because I haven't done anything with it. Okay. I'm not going to collect a ton of it, mind you. Only the ones I feel drawn to through some mysterious purpose. Basically, it's it's whatever fits my whim. When I get tired of just running around, not being attacked by anything. Okay. Wouldn't mind finding another bone chest. Speaking of which, boom! Bone chest! Yeah, let's see. How do we get there? Go this way. Go through here. No good resources. And... Ooh, some amber right there. We get some more gold. Oh no, that's raw amber. Alright. Some bones. Some torches. Some bone chests kind of suck. I mean, the bone ingots are nice, but ultimately they're so far a bit shit. They're not giving us anything that... You know, we couldn't already make. Eh. Alright. So, I think what's going to have to end up happening is we're going to have to go ahead and just strip mine all of these people's homes and just rip it all out and make a parking lot out of it. Not even like a parking lot for anything, it's just a parking lot. There aren't any cars on the island, I'm just gonna be a dick and make it all into parking lots. Yep, store better stuff in your bone chests and I won't turn your home into a parking lot. That's a life lesson for you. I'd say it's free of charge, but the parking lots are free of charge. Uh, some more cursed ore. There we go. I like that. Hey! I can do that too. Pew 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 pew! <laughs> That's funny. I don't want your poison staff. I've got like three of those already. Who wants that? So, lessons learned. If you want resources, you gotta go deep. And bone chests kinda suck. They were cool looking. Definitely going to have to put some of those down in our home. But ultimately, eh. Which is a little sad. You never want your bone chests to be eh. You want those things to be just like, wow, I can't wait to find more of those. Thanks, Dad. You know? Is that just me? Okay, it's just me. Yeah, the, one of the reasons for not putting down just a metric shit ton of torches right now is it's killing my frame rate. Which it makes sense. I mean, that's just a ton of torches. A lot of stuff going on. Okay, so we are back. We're going to make a bone bow shaft. Bone sword hilt, bone bow shaft. Alright. We need some more room here. Come on. Take that out. We will take this out. And pick that back up. And then we will take the bone bow shaft, the cord, the resin, the bowstring, the bone bow. All right, the bone bow. Perfect. Another thing marked off the list. That's kind of cool. I wonder what that one is. Bone arrow, maybe? Hmm. Maybe. We'll have to see later. For now, let's uh, 
let's tally up our score. We got 20 of that. We're going to need that because we're going to make stuff. I keep saying that like you all know what I'm thinking. We got 20 gold and a bunch of that, but we, of, of amber, but you know, with all the gold that we got, I'm not super thrilled with it because it was all from chests. It wasn't from a lot, of, well, it wasn't all from chests, but a lot of it wasn't from what I really wanted it to be from. Which is. I need polish sticks. I wanted it to be from useful things. Like the resource notes. There we go. You can make me some cursed toe. I'm gonna make a cursed pickaxe. Or two. Alright. Got ourselves a cursed pickaxe. What if I put some bone in there? Can I make a bone pickaxe? No. There we go. Cursed pickaxe. I bet you can make a bone pickaxe. Um, not sure how. All right, so I'm just playing with things and move the story along, man. Okay, well that's actually the cursed door spot. So get out of there. So we've made some progress. We've gotten some interesting things figured out and did a little bit of running around and exploring. I love these boots of swiftness. I'm really happy we found those. And you know, I am happy we found some bone chests. They're pretty cool looking. Let's go put these in what's become the chest room. And we'll see what other kind of chests we can find. I'd like to find another mushroom, or not mushroom chest, but um, spider chest, eventually. All right, and we've got a ring of poison. We'll keep the ring of poison on, so when we're dealing with the spiders, we don't have to worry about it. But we've got some more weapons, and I have a weapon chest now. I have determined that. The bone chest will have weapons in it. So I can stop just flooding that chest with non-weapons. That bone chest is going to be weapons and we don't want that anymore. I love that we have all these like nice high-end looking weapons and we're just like, nope, already outmoded. Don't really want the bow, but we'll have it. So there we go. I'll do more of this inventory management off screen. Uh, I don't like to waste everybody's time with it as I stop, sit here and do that while I waste everybody's time. So yeah, let me know what you'd like me to do towards the, the end of this series as we kind of explore everything. If I have explored everything, would you like me to just do videos of me strip mining everything and, you know, harassing the natives? Or would you like me to start over? Start from zero and get back up to the top? Or would you like me to just start a new game and come back to this once there's been an update or two where new dungeons have been added and new levels of challenge have been added? So, with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly did. A lot of cool discoveries. Still a lot to see, even if I am talking about the end of the series coming, because there's still a lot left that's not explored. I know that there's another bio biome out there. I'm just not sure if it's in yet or how to get to it if it is. That being said, if you have any comments or tips, leave those in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. YouTube will be kind enough to let you know when I get more content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time.